Hey, welcome back, I'm Chris, and today I'm trying to find a date for Jonathan. Now, I feel like you can tell a lot about a person just based on their cooking. So Jonathan, you're gonna try the three fried chicken dishes cooked by three different single girls, and based just on that, you'll decide who you're going on a date with. Sound good? Sounds great. Hi, I'm Yenna. Hey, I'm Amber. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Savannah. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Savannah. Fried chicken, right? What is your experience with fried chicken? I actually used to work in the restaurant industry, so I had a coworker, shout out Raymond, who used to make like fire fried chicken. Are any of you nervous? I'm just nervous for him to try my fried chicken because no one's tried it yet, except for me this morning at seven in the morning. So what can you tell about a person just based on how they fry their chicken? If they do those extra steps, it really shows like their attention to detail. Like they're probably like, consider it. What might be a red flag you can see in someone's fried chicken? Is if it's like soggy or if it's like undercooked chicken. What are you looking forward to? His mouth to go on oh. fire. I'm pretty sure it's spicy for him, but not for me. I was playing it safe because I'm nice. Wait, I brought beer. Oh, <laughs> I'm not good. Oh, smart. Like yeah, okay. Now when it comes to dating, right? Do you have a type? <laughs> yeah, I do have a type. I have a tendency to like girls that like go into like the medical field. Mm, this or, is very specific. I really think it's like not sexy when a girl just does whatever everyone else does. Hey, isn't that medical school? I mean, come on. Anything else you want to say to each other before you compete and go head to head? If anything, we'll, we'll go on a date together. All right, let's get started. <laughs> So explain the two cups. What, what's going on here? Okay, so this is called takgangjang, which mm. is translated to Korean like spicy fried chicken. It's a good street food. So I added dok, which is rice cakes. I right. made it super spicy. The chicken and the dok is from Trader Joe's, and then I made the seasoning myself. This one has peanuts, and then this one is without, just in case he's allergic. So like pretty considerate, right? You got the chicken itself from Trader Joe's, but the yes. sauce is that also? No, I made it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There were, cool. Like, eight, cool. nine different ingredients. Do you think? He's gonna knock points down because it's from Trader I mean, I don't know how we'd be able to tell. Anything else you think he's gonna figure out about you based on this? And I'm a gal who likes living near TJ's. But maybe I'm also looking for a guy who lives near H Mart so I don't have to westernize my dishes. Fire away, let me know what you think. It's in cups. Word. Okay. Word. <laughs> this is really cute. I mean, so far it smells really good. And then the presentation's fire. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, she just gave me the okay. option of peanuts versus no peanuts. Oh my God, that's so cute. Dude, I can hear the crunch from here. How is this so crispy? Air fryer. I actually have one more thing for you. So she wanted to serve this with a drink. A drink? No, that's wife. Is this beer? That's fire. Oh my gosh, she Korean. <laughs> this is definitely, I forget what it's called in Korean, but it's like the, the beer and the, uh, the Korean fried chicken. Shimak. Shimak, right? Shimak. She's thinking about everything. She has the beer, the bev, the fried chicken. She has the rice cakes in here. She thought of the peanut versus no peanut. Trader Joe's though. <laughs> I think what's also really cute is the rice cakes. Are these like mini ones? I'm like ready to propose to be honest. <laughs> One of my go-to first dates is a Chinatown food crawl and this is street food. So I feel like that goes hand in hand. You like it? I like it. I'm into it. Would it break your heart if I told you she got the chicken from Trader Joe's? Yeah, that would be f***ed. That would be absolutely f***ed. This has been a complete facade if this is actually Trader Joe's. The thing is, Trader Joe's is fire, don't get me wrong, but I came in expecting food made from the heart, food made from someone, not from a package. She actually lives upstate. She came all the way here just to make this for you. I think that's some brownie points. I do feel like maybe that is a reason why, you know, maybe she didn't have enough time because she's coming from so far. Yeah, very I true. I'm definitely not as enthused as I was earlier. I'm like, I'm like ready, ready to, to propose, propose to be honest. I still think the thoughtfulness is still there. You, you had me falling for you, like head over heels in the first like minute, and then you told me Trader Joe's, and it hurt, but I'm still down. How you doing? Good. At first glance, you added three dimensions here. I love, I love the, yeah. the depth. This is called yen suji, which means salt pepper chicken, and it's a super popular Taiwanese street snack. Was that Thai basil? It is Thai basil, flash nice. fried. What is flash fried? You, you fry it for like. Five seconds. I mean, I knew that. I'm just asking for the vi for the video. You fry it for five, five seconds. seconds. Count it all five fingers. Right? Yeah. One, two. Okay. Mm -mm. I was gonna make it higher, but I was advised <laughs> otherwise. So what went into the making of this dish? I cross-referenced two sources: my yes. mother and this Taiwanese chef on YouTube. That my mother. I don't know why I'm saying mother, but Madre. that my mom knows. Madre. When he tries this, what do you think he's gonna know about you? I am willing to waste oil for him. Wait, what oil did you use for this? Avocado oil. Avocado oil, that's a prized commodity. That's I know. A... So you really yeah. went above and beyond for him. Yeah, Okay. because nice. he deserves it. But if he's gonna roast you, what's he gonna roast you for? I welcome roasts, first mm -hmm. of all. I don't know, maybe there's not enough chicken? 
Not enough chicken. <laughs> Bro, who is finishing this? Here we go, dish number two. This is like Taiwanese popcorn chicken. It's got like a fried basil situation going on, which I really like. Yeah, she had it ready for a while and then she piled on a bunch more at the last minute. Oh, okay, say that. Very generous. Wait, this is really good. Very crispy. She wasn't sure if this was gonna be enough food for you. Well, she thinks I'm like bulking right now. It's giving me like, like kind of like a mom vibe. Did you just mom zone her? No, I'm, I'm into mom. <laughs> this is fried basil, right? Thai basil. Mmm. I think overall, the flavor is like, out of this world, it's like punching me in the face with like all that spice. What do you think she is like? She's giving me like a more sexy vibe. Ooh. What kind of music do you think she listens to? It's low key kind of giving me the, the classic ABG package. Of oh, you're talking Wait. about that. Insult. I go to raves, I listen to Lenny and dab in like the melodic dubstep. Dude, that is wrong. wrong. <laughs> mom to ABG. Yeah, How many dates before your first kiss? Bro, it's the first, for sure. <laughs> no question. <laughs> The first girl, I was saying that she's meticulous. It's overall giving more of like, my parents are gonna accept her more, not as much flair. Whereas I feel like the second dish is giving a, a lot more like unique. Not to say that anyone is bad, but I also feel like because of the Trader Joe's thing, it's still hurting me. <laughs> Damn, he's not gonna let that go. She actually, I think this is her first time making fried chicken and she did flash oh, basil. God. Yo, first time making fried chicken, this is fire. That's completely like warped my perception. Well, we got one more dish for you. Let's do it. I saw the basil and I was wondering if this was basil too. No. It doesn't look like basil. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cilantro. You cooked the cilantro. Died in the packaging. You actually served rice. That's pretty good. So what went into the making of this dish? It's Thai, Thai Laos, because I'm Laos. I don't know if you've had like, you know what, like the mortar pesto, but in Laos we call it the kok and the sakabula. And then we mash the garlic, cilantro stems, peppercorn, and sugar. And then I mix it with fish sauce, sweet soy sauce, and oyster sauce. As you can see, it's lightly breaded versus like a traditional fried chicken. And then I pan fried it. What was your thinking behind serving the sticky rice with it? Well, that's traditional to like Laos and Thai dishes. So we always eat sticky rice with the meat and then always with the sauce. Do you wonder if there's anything here he's gonna kind of critique. The decor, he might think that he has to eat it. You guys got a close-up of that, right? Like, I mean, you could say it's steamed. Now from a dating perspective, what do you think this dish says about you as a person? I'm organized, but adventurous. With the sauce, it makes it like really spicy. I think that says a lot about my personality, just being like a risk taker. Any final words to Jonathan before he tries this? I think you need extra spice in your life. <laughs> like it should be incorporated in most of your dishes. Round three. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I think it's chicken. Is it Viet or Thai? Am I crazy? And then there's like cooked parsley on the side or cilantro, cooked cilantro on the side. So this is not the fried chicken I'm usually expecting, but I understand where it's coming from. It's like relatively mild, to be completely honest. Oh, really? Which is surprising because I feel like Thai flavor is usually like spicy. It's like a Oh, pop. wait, I have a sauce for you. This is a game changer. There we go. I like that it comes with rice though. Some carbs, I'm into that. She wanted the full meal. Mm, okay, that's spicy as f <laughs> nice, there we go. Sticky rice? I don't know. I was kind of expecting it to be coconut sticky rice. I don't know if that's like fair or not. I kind of don't get the cilantro, to be completely honest. Uh, none of us understood it. We should let that be. <laughs> oh, just let that be. The girl that made this dish doesn't go against the grain too often. And when they do, they flop like the cilantro. That wasn't meant to be cooked. <laughs> what do you think her hobbies are? I don't think her hobbies would be anything too outlandish. I think it might be more homebody, things like knitting. <laughs> the girl I'm thinking of is the girl that flexes, like, oh my God, I love to Netflix and sleep. I do like to sleep. I mean, <laughs> not bad. No. Yeah. What do you think her bedtime is? That's so hard. I feel like this person would also stay up, not out of their own will, just because they're watching something, they're like binge watching it. Is that accurate? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of potential. I'd say maybe go on a first date and we might just be friends. So Jonathan, who are you going on a date with? Definitely number two, no question. You ready to meet her? That's it. Is there anything he got right or didn't get right? I am not an ABG. Anything you want to say to him after watching him tear apart your chicken? Oh my God. I'm glad. <laughs> She's got the giggles. She's been like this all she, shoot. She just told me about that. <laughs> How's this overall experience for you guys? A lot of fun. We'll it do was it again. really fun. We'll do um, it again. Shouldn't the goal be not to do it again? I'm down to do it again. <laughs> oh, what? Ooh. Ouch. You're done, Whoa. bro. Wait. Thank you all very much. This was a lot of fun. Cool. What do you get when you call 
a male genital combined with a potato. What? <laughs> I have no idea. What? A dictator. Uh, no. Not too shabby. You're done. Not You're done. Shabby. There's the exit. Uh